person gets shot at, shot at damn near 100 times by Chicago cops. Well, that's exactly what happened per CNN. Here it is. Chicago police are initiating a traffic stop on a driver reportedly for not wearing a seatbelt, according to the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. A traffic stop being conducted by five tactical officers. Roll the window down. What are you doing? Roll this one down. Roll that one down too. Hey, don't roll the window up. Don't roll the window up. Hey, okay. Do not roll the window up. Do not unlock the doors now. The temperature quickly escalates. One officer puts what appears to be his gun on the windshield. Reed then fires first, hitting an officer in the forearm, according to the initial investigation. Then, chaos. goes down. Then three final gunshots, 96 in total, according to investigators. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. They were so reactionary that they literally shot each other, the police shot the police, put up the picture full mass. This is a sad story all the way around. Per CNN, a newly released body cam video made public by Civilian Office of Police Accountability depicts the chaos in Chicago's Garfield Park neighborhood on March 21st as police, tactical police, fired approximately 96 bullets during a traffic stop resulting in the death of a 26 year old Dexter Reed. The incident has sparked concerns about possible excessive force. While a preliminary investigation currently says that Mr. Reed initiated the aggression via gunfire, his family and attorneys criticized the use of aggressive tactics by plain clothed officers who surrounded Reed's vehicle and fired numerous shots. CNN notes that while the disturbing video brings more clarity to what happened, they also raise new questions. In one video, an officer, as you can see, wearing a hooded jacket, a baseball cap with a badge on the vest portion, which may not have been visible, we're not able to see from this angle. The driver approaches the driver of the white vehicle and the white vehicle has dark tinted windows. Now, if you're just sitting in your vehicle and naturally you see somebody like this approaching, um, the first thing on your mind is probably not law enforcement, probably not. There's more, um, roll the window down is the scream twice. The officer tells the driver, the driver initially rolled his window down, but then rolled it back up, started to roll it back up. What are you doing? The officer asked, don't roll the window up, don't roll the window up twice. The officer pulls on the driver's door handle, attempting to force entry into the vehicle, which appears to be locked. He then draws a gun. Unlock the doors, unlock the doors now. The officer screams as another officer shouts precisely the same command. Once again, they are plain clothed. Uh, the driver apparently says, okay, I'm trying two seconds late as the officer retreats from the vehicle, gunfire breaks out. Dozens of gunshots are then heard in rapid succession. Other body cam videos show at least two other officers firing toward Reed from across the street in the residential neighborhood, from across the street in the residential neighborhood. Both of those officers paused 
and reloaded their guns. After the barrage of gunfire ends, Reed's body is found laying face down behind the vehicle. Quote, an officer said he started to shoot at us. You can hear it in one of the videos. About a minute later, an officer examines Reed's bullet written car and says, quote, the gun's right there. The officer says, shining a flashlight into the vehicle. One officer was shot in the wrist during the gunfire, was hospitalized in good condition, Chicago police said. Now, multiple agencies are investigating whether the officer's actions were even justified. Preliminary reports indicate that this incident began when five Chicago police officers assigned to an 11 district tactical unit engaged in the traffic stop of Dexter Reed Jr. for not wearing a seatbelt. Now, can I say this? Understand this is what's official and on the record. Why have a tactical unit and pull people over via this tactical unit for not wearing a seatbelt? That's for the street cops. This is a tactical unit. They wear plain clothes for a reason, and it's definitely not for minor traffic offenses. There's more. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability said in a statement Tuesday, COPA is the city agency responsible for investigating allegations of police misconduct and all police shootings. Upon stopping Mr. Reed, multiple officers surrounded his vehicle while giving verbal commands. But Mr. Reed did not comply with these commands. Officers pointed their firearms at Mr. Reed. Ultimately, there was an exchange of gunfire, which left Mr. Reed dead and an officer shot in the forearm, Copa said. Review of the video footage and initial reports appears to confirm that Mr. Reed fired first, striking the officer and four officers returned fire. Now that's preliminary, still yet to be confirmed. An officer said it was not immediately clear from CNN's review of the body camera who fired first. So CNN looked at it. Their producers watched it, and they could not confirm the conclusion of this preliminary report. Available preliminary evidence also confirms that the officers returned fire approximately 96 times over a period of 41 seconds, including after Mr. Reed exited his vehicle and was completely on the ground. That is what Copa said, quote, Mr. Reed was struck by gunfire multiple times and was transported to the hospital and later pronounced deceased. A gun was recovered on the front passenger seat of Mr. Reed's vehicle. Um, Reed's family and their attorneys said they can't understand why the officers, multiple of whom were wearing plain clothes with their tactical vest, swarmed his car with guns. Attorney Stephen Hart said, quote, Dexter was pulled over for failing to wear his seat belt. Now, this leaves many, many questions. Why were tactical officers jumping out of an unmarked police car for, with their guns drawn for a simple traffic violation of not wearing a seat belt? I think that's a relevant question. The Chicago PD is led by Superintendent of Police Larry B. Snelling. The department said in a statement Tuesday, quote, this shooting remains under investigation by the Civilian Office of Police Accountability, COPA, with the full cooperation of Chicago PD. We cannot make a determination on this shooting until all the facts are known and the investigation has concluded. Let's go to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. This is Ms. Kim Fox. That office said Tuesday, it's not clear whether any of the officers involved in the shooting will face criminal charges, adding, quote, it will be our job based on the totality of the evidence to determine whether the use of force in this case was beyond that force, which is allowable under the law, end quote. All right, um, so the, the first and I think probably most fundamental question was posed by the attorney. Why do you have a tactical plain clothes unit pulling people over for not wearing a seat belt and then Getting out of the vehicle like SWAT in plain clothes to intimidate an individual who's driving without a seatbelt. None of this makes sense at all. All right, a lot of questions. Uh, Jackson, thoughts? 
Well, you know, you pointed out, and as did uh, the defense attorneys point out, the first obvious problem of, you know, just kind of, it looks like you got people sneaking up to you, um, you know, which kind of puts a hole in any type of defense to be like, oh, well, he shot first. Because even if he did, even if it turns out that he did shoot first, I think for me, the most glaringly obvious problem is the disgusting level of inefficiency and just, you know, lack of, of tact and professionalism. To shoot 96 times, I mean, let alone hitting each other, what about other people that could have been hit? And you would think that, I mean, what are you just, you just hiring people off the streets, basically, because if you're supposed to be some type of professional law enforcement, um, if you're especially like some type of tactical team, then why doesn't it take one, two, maybe three shots to get what you're going for? You know what I mean? Like, it just seems like these people have never used guns before to just pull out and shoot 96 times. It, it, it's just it, there's no defending this, even if it does turn out like, oh, well, he did shoot first. It's like so that resulted in almost 100 bullets being thrown out. Yeah, it's just I mean, I don't there's, I don't know what else to say uh, about it at all. That they, they look pitiful. It's extreme. And then the allegation in the report of multiple officers being across the street in the residential community um, deciding to just start shooting as well. Yeah. Um, obviously putting a lot of people in danger. All right, we will bring updates as updates come.